green screen. But when I activate the chroma key computer chip, JP is going to be our meteorologist for the day. Now we see him up here on these monitors, and JP can see himself here on this side monitor. Now stick out your hand like this one, please, JP. Now swirl it around like that. Very nice. You'll notice anytime you watch the weather that a meteorologist is never going to point directly to whatever they're talking about, right? That's because they have no idea what they look like unless they see themselves in that side monitor. So if a big storm is coming to Atlanta and JP is using his finger to point to Atlanta, two inches over is Columbia, South Carolina on that map. So if he messes up, everyone gets mad. And that's why meteorologists use those broad, non-committal Vanna White hand gestures that makes everyone at home watching a happy camper, right? Uh, stand right here in the middle for me, please, JP. You did a really good job, but I'm going to do a really quick trick. Everyone say hello to my volunteer. Say wave to him. Say hi. Hello. Uh, take a look at him up here on these monitors. Take a look at yourself up there on that side monitor. And let's all say goodbye to him. <laughs> so now we see him. And now we don't. I'm going to drape it around him really quickly, like a cape. And now he's just a floating head <laughs> showing up there in front of the mat, right? Now this is the same kind of technology that they used in the film Harry Potter for the invisibility cloak. And it's also how they did Lieutenant Dan's legs in the film Forrest Gump. That actor was wearing green knee highs the entire time. But bringing it back to CNN, let's say he wanted to wear that specific shade of green on the air. Do you think that he could? No, right? Because that graphic would show up. The only thing that we would do is put him in front of a blue screen instead of a green screen so that his wardrobe could actually show up. And the reason that we use those two colors, blue and green, is because neither one of them are ever going to naturally occur in the human skin color. That's why we do that. So I'm going to give my volunteer a round of applause. He did a really good job today. Very nice. That was great. So the